What's up guys? We are gonna do some magnet fishing today, but not just any magnet fishing, because today guys, today, we're gonna tame a titan. Let's do it. Tell me, why'd you have to go and drive me so crazy? Now I'm feeling lost without you and I just can't be without you. All right, guys, so as I implied a little bit there at the beginning, we have a new magnet. We have the Kratos Magnetics 3800 Titan. Um, this thing is an absolute beast. I'm actually kind of scared of it. <laughs> uh, just playing with it, I've accidentally had some stuff in my whole hand, just a good grip, and gotten a little too close to the magnet, and it's pulled my hand in. I've had to let go very quickly to avoid smashing my hand. Also, just walking around with the box, it's gotten stuck to door frames and just various objects through the box. Super strong magnet. Uh, so, like, I gotta make sure I put my wallet away from it, my keys away from it, my phone away from it, because it will just destroy these things. I mean, I had to wait so long for shipping because it kept getting stuck to, like, conveyor belts and stuff at UPS. So, <laughs> it, you know, took, like, two and a half weeks to get to me just because it just kept sticking to things. Ridiculously strong magnet, but we're gonna try it out. And I thought the best place to try this magnet out would obviously be Dangaboom Park because with the other magnets I've been using lately, it just seems like I've fished this spot out. So it'll be interesting to see if we actually find anything with this magnet because it's so powerful. And of course it's a 360. So all the way around magnetized. So it'll be interesting to see if and what we pull up today. I'm going to get my gear ready. We're going to get this on and I'm going to get all my stuff that I need to get away from the magnet in the bag and move it off to the side and we're gonna try this out guys we're gonna see what happens I'm excited all right all right guys I had to tie a little bit different knot I had to put a figure eight in this thing because a polymer knot uh I couldn't get this rope this eyelet's a little too small for that so but the figure eight should do nice it's a good strong knot let's see what happens guys So the other really cool advantage to this magnet is that it's only like 4.6 pounds. So super light, easy to throw for its power. Also, I gotta be careful to stay away from these metal beams holding up the, uh, the pier here because this will get stuck to that very easily. All right, first throw, oh, we did get, this is barely magnetic. That's crazy. Whoops, I missed. Uh, so not a lot on that throw. Some gobbledygook. Some rock. So let's try a little more this way. Although I should probably try that way because that's where I found all the cool stuff. Oh. I don't know if I was just hung up on a rock or something, but that was a lot of resistance right there. <laughs> That felt like something. There's definitely something on there. All right, another magnetic rock. <laughs> Let me try, I probably need to gather some, let me move my, gather some rope so I can throw it farther. <clears throat> Get it way out there. Ooh, that's on something. Ooh, that's on something. That is on something big, guys. That is something big. Oh my God. Oh my God, what is this? Yo, this is heavy, whatever this is. Oh my goodness. Yo. Oh my God. All right, guys, big old signpost. Now, I would like to note that this isn't even the bottom of the magnet. This is the top of the magnet <laughs> that's stuck to this. And I mean, it's on here. I at no point thought that this thing was gonna come off. <clears throat> Yo. Sweet. 
sweet. So definitely, the number of times I've been here with any other magnet, I have never hooked onto that. And that's crazy. <sighs> Feels like I got something on here. Oh, oh yeah, we got something. Need to move over a little bit. What is that? Well, some kind of a pipe or something. Round cylindrical object. Looks like there's a nail. Oh, two screws. And I felt something extra click right in there, so. I'm gonna have to go back over that spot. Yo, this is crazy right now. Like I'm feeling stuff in there and pulling stuff that I know I wouldn't have been pulling with any other magnet right now, which is nuts. <laughs> I'm super excited to take this thing downtown. That's interesting looking. my scraper in here oh crap I don't think so Whew. all right guys so I wasn't recording so I don't know what that is that's a bit of that we have a shock top bottle top check this out this is the first time I think I found one of these this is like a circle hook for catfishing a smaller one but that's pretty sweet and then while I was pulling it up I was kind of hovering the magnet over the bottom and like I could feel like it was going and then it was like brrr, over something this thing is crazy I love it already all right guys I literally latched onto that thing that I was just hovering over and pulled it free from the muck Yo, is that a gun? Or part of a gun? Yo, I think it's part of a gun. I feel like this is part of a gun, guys. And it's wrapped in plastic. That's pretty sketchy. But this definitely has a profile of a gun barrel. Oh, goodness. trying to free up some of that. This definitely feels like it's a gun barrel. Although I can't see any markings on it. But maybe not, maybe not, but I can't tell if it's threaded because there's so much crap in here. It's so hard to tell. You'd think actually if it was a barrel that it would have some markings on it somewhere. So maybe not, but I don't know what this is, but it had a bag tied around it, which is a little bit sketchy. Doesn't feel like there's... Okay, we're gonna open this up. It just feels like it's sand or just more, just bits of bag. I don't think there's anything nefarious in here. So I'm gonna throw that away. It looks like just sand, but. Yeah, we're gonna have to take this just down to the water and rinse it through and see if there's rifling inside this. This could be a barrel. It's, it's a stout barrel if it is. It's heavy for its size, so. We're gonna go in that same spot, guys, because there might be more to that. Okay, there's something on here, maybe a padlock, or I don't know what this is. We got something. Oh. 
Well, guys, I can honestly say I've never found a seatbelt before. Wonder if I can look this up and figure out what kind of a car this came from. Whew. All right, guys. This time it wasn't a battery. It was another one of those rifle shells. So that's pretty cool. All right, I'm probably just gonna give it a couple more throws. Just see what happens. Cause I wanna go downtown to the usual spot. You know what I'm saying? Um, and hit that up and see what kind of nonsense we can pull out of there. I'm sure a lot. <laughs> oh, well, you know guys, another rifle shell. That's crazy. Crazy, crazy. <laughs> Yo guys, I think this duck wants to be friends. Yo bro, what's good? Okay. Now see, you're coming to me and I thought you wanted to be friends, bro. It's all good. I still like you. <laughs> all right. First throw with the Titan downtown. Very exciting. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh. Oh, that's something. What do we got here? What do we got here? Oh, I forgot to bring come alongs. That was probably a mistake. Ah, huge piece of pipe. Oh, goodness, you see that? Just try to smash my finger. I'm just gonna try like I usually do when I first start off, just kind of up and down, just to see if anybody's dropped anything straight in. Uh-oh, uh-oh, ooh, there's something big there. We popped off. Oh, we're on something again. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Ooh. What in the world? Okay. Oh, it's another one of those utility doors. Ugh. <laughs> Holy cow. Sit it out of here. Out of the way for now. But yeah, another one of those doors to these panels. All right guys, something just stuck to this. Oh my goodness. Who would have guessed? More just chunks of metal. Ah! Ow! See? Why you gotta do me like that? Oh, goodness. <sighs> Why you gotta do me like that? No, it's my bag. It's your bag? my bag actually over to here <laughs> oh come on guys come on now why you gotta do this to me 
Oh my. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Why? Oh, there's a piece of glass stuck to that. That's crazy. Because this is not going to fit in the bucket too well. Oh, wait. Never mind. That just snapped right in half. Y'all see if I can snap it in half again. Oh, yeah, I think I can. <clears throat> Yo, this thing's about to be mad heavy. Let me get this out. Because I'm making a mess. <sighs> see, this is what I'm not liking about this right now. Is I'm pulling up stuff, but I am pulling up big stuff. And I... I almost hate to throw again because if I get something else like this, yeah, I gotta, I gotta stop because I gotta get real. I gotta take this, take this away. So, uh, dilemmas, guys, dilemmas. Oh, and that latched on to something heavy, of course. What the? What is that? Oh my goodness. What is this? Yo, that thing's huge. Anybody got any ideas on what this could be? Let me know. I have no idea what this could be. It has like a, a slot right there. I don't know. All right, what's up guys? Usually, you know, I do my intro down by the water, but my bucket was so full and heavy and I had to get to the car and I just wanted to get to the car, put everything away, sit in the air conditioning and kind of cool down before I made this video. And it just looked like a, like a train wreck. I still look like a train wreck with whatever. <laughs> but, uh, I know it's going to seem like I wasn't at this location very long at all, but like seriously, it got pretty much to the point where I was afraid to throw the magnet because I knew it was going to pull in another huge chunk of heavy metal. And uh, I, just, I just didn't want to do I didn't want to do it. My bucket was already so full and I knew if I got any more, I was going to be like having problems getting back to the car. So, uh, yeah, so we, we gave up for today. We're going to come back definitely on another day because let me tell you guys let me tell you guys this kratos 360 is a monster um it slaps um it is the, the mulan sauce baby uh this thing is absolutely insane um <laughs> tidewater's been hyping it up for a long time now i, I get it um it is it's, it actually kind of scares me. The magnet legitimately kind of scares me. Like, I feel like I got to be way more focused on what I'm doing and what I'm around because this, you could easily get really hurt with this thing. Um, if you get your hand between that and a good chunk of metal, it's not going to be pretty. You're not going to like it. It's, it's a Titan, baby. <laughs> it's named properly. Um, but yeah, I definitely at Daniel Boone Park was pulling up stuff that I know I was not getting like two, three weeks ago or whenever that was, I was just last there, didn't get any of that stuff. And I was pulling out big pieces and just like different pieces. And I know I was still like feeling the magnetic pull of stuff buried in like the sand and silt down there. So like there's stuff there. So we'll definitely have to go back there too and check that out. Yeah, but highly, highly recommend the Kratos 360. You guys should pick yourself up one. I don't actually know that they're in stock right now, but I will leave a link down below. I will leave as many discount codes from as many different creators as I can. I think it saves you 12%. Uh, I'll clarify down in the, in the description, but I'm pretty sure it's 12%, but I know a lot of people right now that are with Kratos and they got codes now. So, you know, I'll just put different codes down there and that way, you know, you can support your favorite creator. <laughs> Super happy. I got this magnet. This is the most fun I've had magnet fishing in a minute, even though I didn't find like anything like spectacular except maybe that gun barrel we gotta we gotta check out and see if that's a gun barrel i'm gonna stop talking guys i'm just yapping away 
I want to go home. I want to get a shower. I am gross. Look, I don't know if you can tell, but like, oh, I got some crazy dirt going on. It's on my arm and stuff. I feel like Scuba Sonia right now. Hashtag Scuba Sonia. <laughs> yeah, you know, I feel pretty, I feel cool like Scuba Sonia. She's always, she goes magnet fishing. She always just comes back dirty. Yeah, guys, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, an amazing day. I hope you guys get some 360 soon. Um, definitely the cheapest route to go because it's made in America. You don't have to pay for shipping from the UK. So it is like 200, but you can save some money with the discount code, but that's still way cheaper than any 360 that you are gonna get from the UK with shipping. Uh, well worth the money. Well worth, I'm telling you right now, this is game changing stuff. Uh, I would not lie to you. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna get going, I'm gonna get going. Um, yeah, remember, go out there. Make your own adventures. Life's short. Have fun. Peace, y'all.